What is going on my reefing fam? March here, Fragbox TV. Okay, what am I doing today? You know how I decide to make videos before we get into it? Hello, welcome to the channel. What is this? It's a store here in Toronto that specializes in everything to do with these saltwater corals. How do I decide to make videos? Um, I do a lot here in the shop and sometimes before I get into it, I'm about to do something, I think, hmm, hold on, one second. Maybe the viewers on YouTube would like to see what I'm doing and then can learn something from it. So what am I doing here? I'm dipping some corals because I'm gonna add some new ones in a second to our lovely display tank here. This is a custom made tank. Um, if you're looking for this one, you're in Toronto, we can make it for you. It measures 50 by 30, hello Bulldog, um, by 18 high, it's around like 90 something gallons with some Hydra 32 HDs. This hammer that you see here, this green one, hammer coral, hello Mr. Green Hammer, has exploded in growth. He went in maybe three, four heads, kind of like the size of this one down here, but he's really, really grown and he's taken up this space. So I'm gonna frag him in a second and I'm gonna show you how I do that. He's kind of stinging over here. You see this blue leather, he's kind of stinging him. And I'm a little bit bored with these hammers in here. They're a little bit upset because I just touched them, but I wanna add some more color. So I'm adding a atomic bomb and then this cool kind of yellow green one. You can't really see the color of the lights. Some blue mushrooms, because I wanna build out the mushroom garden that's down here. I got these cool kind of red ones but I'm gonna add some blue discosoma next to them. And then in a second, I'm gonna glue down this beautiful purple stylophora because I really like stylos. That's a species of SPS that is, I would consider easier to keep. I have a green one up there. And then I think I got another one in the back. I'm gonna glue down some Zoas. I'm gonna glue down some Monty because I realize I don't have any Monty cap right now in this tank. And it's really, really cool the way it grows. It's gonna spiral. I'm probably gonna get Tia to give me a hand in a second. And finally, I am adding three new leather corals. And what am I doing here with these buckets? On the left, I'm dipping them. So dip is basically, let me show you, sorry. These are shot live. Um, this is dip in it, so if you could smell it. Here, guys, smell my hand. Uh, it smells like dip. And then on this side is just fresh salt, not fresh water, um, fresh salt water. So clean salt water without dip. And I really like this one right here. This is two little fishies. My friend Julian Sprung makes it. It's called Revive. It's excellent coral cleaner. So this will kill everything on the coral that you don't want to introduce, like pests and bugs and spiders and all that stuff, but it won't kill the coral. So I've done that for about 10 minutes. I've done videos on dipping before, so I'm not gonna to talk too much more about that. And I'm gonna use this glue right here to glue down the frags. That's my preferred glue. And I'm gonna show you how I frag this hammer in just one second. Okay, I'm gonna give the camera to lovely camera woman and I'm gonna show you. It's recording. Oh, shit, <laughs> sorry, oh, shoot, sugar. Hello. <laughs> What am I doing? You didn't tell me what I'm doing. I'm show them how we frag hammer coral. This yeah. is branching hammer. So you can see it gets its name from the way it grows, it branches. And I think it's, people prefer this one because of how easy it is to frag. I'm literally going to, with not a lot of force, break the plug. That's not what I was trying to do. Um, this piece right here, can you see that? Can just, oh, I wasn't expecting that, but look. Just, frag literally by hand. The skeleton structure here is quite delicate. Um, this part is live, so if you were, could feel it, it's slimy. And then here is dead, so I know that I'm safe to break it right here where I have what I call clear separation. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of, not that much force. Oh, dropped it. But there you go, literally can frag them um, by hand. That is not the case with wall hammer. If I wanted to frag, you know, these ones, I could as well, but I'd use the bandsaw downstairs. Or if you have a Dremel at home, maybe I should get a Dremel just to show you guys mm. how it's done. That's how I used to frag back in the day. Okay. These could be uh, fragged as well. Actually, I'm gonna show you one more trick. We're not always barbarians here. Um, you can use a pair of coral clippers, but what happens is this might shatter. I have, every time I use coral clippers and hammers, it shatters. I'm gonna do it right now live. We'll yeah. see what happens. I hope it doesn't shatter. But if it does, you're gonna learn something today too. It gets a little tricky. Let me grab it. Show us the clippers. Clippers, we call them clippies. They're very old. If you're looking for these, we do carry them. That is my sales plug of the day. Um, you can find them just about anywhere. If you buy them from us, we'll say thank you. But I'll show you how it's done with these. And then I'll show you wall hammer in a second too, so you can see. Um, stuff that isn't as easy to frag. So I'm gonna grab it right there. And what happens is when you clip, when you cut, when you squeeze, what's the word? Sometimes it tends to shatter. So what I try and do is almost like twist. So I wanna break it off rather than 
crunch it. The, yeah, then crunch the skeleton. So I'll do it over here just so that the skeleton. Okay. Can you still see? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. So what I didn't want to happen ah. happened on one head. So you see this here? It completely um, turn it towards the yeah. Camera. See it? Shattered. This head will still probably survive. So I'll do some surgery now. Just from my experience, I'll tell you that this is still probably okay. So what I do is I'll put glue in between where I cracked it. This was supposed to be a fragging video, now it's a coral surgery video. And with a little bit of TLC, just put it right back together. That's not a piece I'd sell here in the store, but I do like expect it to live. It'll actually um, regrow. On the other piece that fell off, no problem. Actually, that was good because we got one broken head and one perfect head. See, look at that. That's a perfect frag. And then what we do is just glue it down to a plug. We also sell plugs if you need. I'll show you how that's done. You don't have to glue it to a plug. If you're doing it in your tank, you could glue it you know, somewhere to the rock. Maybe you're fragging it for a friend, a girlfriend, a lover. I don't know why you're fragging. I don't know why you're watching this. I don't know much, but I'll show you what I do know. Hold this down. Hello. How's it going? Let's show a shot live. Unscripted. And a little bit of... There you go. That's it. One came out good? Side? Yeah, one not so good. Under the water? Yeah, I'll throw it in the sand bed. And you'll see that for sale in probably a couple days just to heal. And this one I expect to recover. Even though it was a little rough, I do expect that one to recover. Okay. Cut. Okay, so we're gonna put the hammer that I just back. This is what we call frag holders. Ta-da! It just makes for like easy movement you, of corals. You really like those. I love them. Yeah. yeah. You don't even notice them. I think if I didn't if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't see. They turn the color of the rock eventually. And then check this out. This is our atomic bomb hammer. Whoa, get this oh, one from yeah. the top. Check it out. Bye bye, thank you. Have a nice day. So this I wanna see right here, I think front and center actually. This is a very nice hammer too. I have this gold one. Uh, maybe they can share that same spot. How are you doing, Yeah. One over here. More focus on atomic bomb. Atomic bomb? Yeah. Because it's nicer. Atomic cherry? Atomic, atomic bomb. Atomic bomb. Yeah. And then I'm going to throw the mushrooms under here. They don't need a lot of light. They'll actually do fine and basically shade. Like indirect light. Maybe under here, actually. I just want to add some goo. I like those there. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a ton of luck with Zoas in this tank, so I'm going to try one more piece, which is these here. The Princess 99. I think they were getting too much light. Where do you think I should stick them? I think that back corner. I want to do more torches here to replace this. Oh, and I also want to glue down these. These are Monty caps. Like I said, no Monty's in here. And I love Capricornus. So I'm thinking over here, and then I'll let them just kind of scroll out. What do you think? Maybe no, not. it's too much red in this one little corner. Oh, right here. It's red cyanarina, red ecans. I'm not married to the Go green. Uh, oh, how about There's here? so much green oh. over here, yeah. That's it. Okay, that's the spot. There's the glue. Grab the glue. goes over there. And you just need a little dollop. Is that the word I want to use? I call it like a teardrop. This would help if I put a new tip on it. We're bad at not closing up the glue after we use it. Speak for yourself. I've never seen you close it. <laughs> and then, that's it. I have a little spot I found already in the rock. Fits nice naturally. That's it. Look how easy. And I got one more piece here. Should I do it maybe somewhere over here? Or add two? It's kind of low light over there. I don't know. Yeah, it's a Monty. You're right. Yeah. Maybe here as well? What do you think? Um, no. This is good though because it won't shade anything. As it grows out, it's going to start to spiral. Why don't we try it over there? Because I do like it there, but. Um... This guy needs a, a new forever home as well. A cup of corn. Where was he? That one's gorgeous. He was up here. Yeah, no. Too much green? I like him there. Yeah, it's not good touching. He's directly touching the leather. That is a valid point. Yeah. No, pipe organ. Do you know that game Operation where you go? Yeah. And oh, here. Eh, um, eh. Why don't. Christmas colors, holiday colors, or um, the art wheel, the color wheel. Get Put them right there. there in between the two red ones. Here. Yeah. Okay. Color wheel. <laughs> color wheel it is. This is the base of it. Really easy. Wait, wait, let's see the base. I'm not going to hurt anything by gluing the bottom. 
Again, the glue should come out a lot faster. You can tell we're professionals and we do this for a living. When and you video, fight with the glue? are really well prepared. Okay. And so what I like to do is I kind of push and I shimmy. And... Actually, you know what? I'm going to spin it. Because this side is a little more flat. That's not the trick. Sometimes you just need the glue to kind of break and go into the rock. And you'll feel it hold. And I'm doing an awful job. Let's try maybe a little more glue. I find uh, the Bokker Supply glue you need to use a lot more than you think for this application. Fresh bottle would have been a good right. idea. So yeah. One more time. Yeah, I think they actually suggest not doing this with this glue. No, I do everything with this glue. I, me too. Oh, I thought you didn't like this glue. Ta-da! That actually looks really good right there. It does. Yeah, I like Great. that. Finally, this guy. This is that Stylophora that I'm in love with. He needs a lot more light because it is a hard core, but I'm limited with space kind of across the top of the cannon piece. I could stick him right here. Nope, leather. Leather. Oh, well, I could get rid of the leather. This is like a rock plug. Maybe right on top. I'll go like that. I'm not touching. Looks a little wonky though with the double plug, huh? Actually, I kind of like it there. <laughs> we'll see when the leathers open up if it should stay. I think I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to show you, this is nice. When you buy these, they come with a few extra caps. So when they do get plugged, you just swap the cap. And yes. it comes out a lot easier. So, same thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah! <laughs> Be generous with the glue. It's very safe. Stick them to this old one. That's it. I like that. It's really close to the, the yeah. slimer. Keep an eye on it. We're looking for trouble. Yeah. And then we have one more red Monty here, and we said we're going to try down here. Yeah, see, see how it goes. Yeah, see if it grows. This is a piece we grow in-house in the basement, red Monty cap. Super easy to keep, super easy to grow. If you're looking to get into hard coral, SPS corals, look for Monty. And specifically look for um, Capricornus, Cap. yeah. Comes green, purple, red, orange with yellow dots, which we call Starburst. Love Come that one. Christmas Monty, you can get Grafted Monty, Red Roses Monty. There's so many different types, different colors. I think I've seen Red Roses. What red Roses, that? purple with red, red polyps. Oh. And this is just a good time to clean up. See, you know what? If you lose snails and crabs, don't beat yourself up. It does happen. Um, there's a handful of them just sort of natural. We have big grasses in here, so I suspect they kind of pick them off. And then finally, we have a couple more leathers that I found throughout the tanks that I really like. I'm just not sure where to stick them. And some zoas. More you know leathers? What? Let's just show them the zoas and then maybe we'll, we'll wrap it up. I know that if you're watching up until now, you are a super, super fan, because I can see on YouTube, most people drop off about five minutes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go right there, underneath the Ultron Fabia. Hmm, that's yeah. a good spot right there. Yeah, let's try it. But like I said, this tank, Zoas, I haven't had a lot of luck. I'm just not, I don't know, I'm just not doing, they kind of shrivel up. I think I'm, I'm usually giving them too much light. Let's try right there and see what happens. That was easy on the glue. And then these leathers, I see a little opening there in the rock. The only problem is they have stems. So if you buy frags from us or from anywhere, they often come with these stems on the plugs. So again, these are a really good investment because what you can do is, I find this is a lot easier, watch this. Pop! <laughs> and now, instead of trying to glue that stem, I can really easily just, that's way, way easier to glue than trying to glue a one inch cylinder. And a little bit of space in here. Maybe I'll make a new leather garden. So leathers are cool because they're not going to harm one another usually? Uh, that is false, YouTube. They chemically attack each other okay. and you have to run carbon if you see any kind of leather okay. touching. They Debate should. of the day. Debate of the day. <laughs> touching? Hmm. Touching, touching, touching. So, touching, but you can see that uh, one of them is pulling back a little bit. Its uh, polyps don't extend in the spot that it's touching. touching. Touch all three touching. This here, all look. Th all three touching. That is recession. We will leave it for you this. to decide. Touching. So, listen. I'm listening. Chemically means it's released and it's a growth <laughs> inhibitor for other corals. YouTube, 
Do some research. Look it up. It's true. <laughs> we don't agree on everything either. We don't agree on everything. We don't agree on most things. No, we agree on a lot. Just not everything. The tank looks good. I think that's the it looks part. It looks good. But we run carbon on it, so... We do? Yeah. I just work here. And I make the videos. And I take the photos. And I don't know what to do with this piece. So Maybe far the... away from another leather. I'm gonna go <laughs> Here, that feels right. Right where it's gonna kill the Gorgonian. I like playing it, you know, really. I like. Much like experimenting. Yeah, I like it. You know what? Living on the edge. Let's see what happens. Of death. <laughs> I couldn't cut this. I don't know where the heck this plug came from. These plugs are really nice, actually. These plugs suck. Look at but this. But they're hard to cut, yeah. I'm giving it my all. I can't get it off. So I'm gonna take off the leather with the rubble. It's probably not the best idea. And I should really try and find the spot before I glue it. But I'm not. So do as I say, don't do as I do. <laughs> I like the spot right here. It's open. Where? There's nothing else in the way. I'm gonna stick them right there. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. Too late. Beautiful. I got two more mushrooms I want to add. But these, I'm not really gonna glue them down. I'm gonna find places of low shade. I don't know what this one is, but it's funky. That's a redactus. Yeah, but what type? Look, look from the top. Oh, yeah, I, pretty yeah, cool. I'm gonna call it. I don't um, know. It's Bernito. Maybe Avenue. Fields Massacre or something. Fields Massacre. I don't know. Sure. Massacre Fields. Stick one, maybe. Bloody one. Grass. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> you guys wonder where the coral names come? Uh, this is where they come from. Bloody Grass. Bloody Grass. <laughs> I'm thinking something else. I'm not going to repeat it. No, no, no. no Link some children watch channel. I don't know how old you guys are. Um, and this one, I'm going to stick. Oh, wow. Look at that. Timber. A, that would be a good time to epoxy it. Yeah. Put that back. I'm going to epoxy that rock in place. What happened to the stone fix, Marge? <laughs> the stone fix. I'm going to stick this one right down. Kind of in this cave right here. I'm going to watch them over Aren't the you? next couple of days and see how they do. That was kind of good that we caught that on camera, huh? Yes. Yeah. That's it happened yesterday too. It happened yesterday too? Yeah. Yeah. It's telling us it's time to go down. That's it. The tank over well, over well, overall is doing very well. Very happy with the way it's looking. It is a little bit crowded, but that comes with any mature reef tank. It's just something that you're going to run into over time. You have to think about fragging and placement and um, where you're going to stick things. If you like the channel, if you like the video, give us one of these. And if you got any questions about coral placements, you can always reach out to us. Shoot us an email, fragbox.ca. Go to the contact us page there, and then there's a couple dip different options. And that's it. We'll see you guys back here very soon. Thank you, Tia, for being camera woman. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.